Malcolm was a firm believer in the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And because of that, he never wavered in his efforts to keep going. You know, we, we become so supersonic and highfalutin in our understanding of the religion that basic fundamental issues like salvation, basic fundamental issues like heaven and hell, associated with the unseen, the materialistic impulses of our society weigh so heavily on our soul, the akhirah becomes an intellectual construct and not something real that motivate, that defines, motivates, and limits our actions. The promise of paradise and the threat of hell. Malcolm X believed in that. I sat with Betty Shabazz in the 96th Street Masjid in New York City and spoke to her and she spoke about the faith of her husband and she said the nationalists have claimed Malcolm the socialists have claimed Malcolm she says it's time for you Muslims to claim Malcolm because he was a believer he was a believer you can see the change in his demeanor as his faith grew you can see the change in his appearance as his faith grew. But one thing that didn't change, his commitment didn't change. You know, we, we got the, I used to run track. I ran relay, four by 110. You get this, the, the baton and you pass it on. You drop it, everyone loses. People, people before us passed us this baton. And in the 20th century, it was a hard leg of the race. It was a time of colonization at the beginning of the century. It was a time of nationalist and secularist, socialist, communist regimes who inherited the, 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 the states that were carved out by the colonizers. There was open war on Muslim. Muslim uh, culture, customs, belief were denigrated, ridiculed. It was difficult to be a Muslim. But despite all of those hardships, that baton was put in our hand. Are we going to drop it? Are we going to pass it on? If we're going to pass it on, you're going to have to run with strength. Malcolm ran with strength. Malcolm ran with strength, and Malcolm was one of the people that passed us that baton. And he passed it on with his blood, not with his words, with his blood. You're going to drop it or you're going to get in the race, run hard and pass it on to those after you. That is the question before us. So Malcolm, through his struggle, through his effort, through his sacrifice, was a purified soul. And because he was a purified soul, he could f follow the truth wherever it led him. 